the coach. Football has always been a huge part of Dick Vermeil's life. He was a backup quarterback at San Jose State and has been coach of the year at every level, high school, junior college, NCAA Division I, where he coached UCLA to a Rose Bowl victory over the then number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. But most remember him as an NFL coach. He coached the Philadelphia Eagles for seven seasons, including a Super Bowl in 1980. But the job consumed him. He had to quit. Well, it is too. Thank you. She was the reason I left coaching, the number one reason. She made the decision, maybe not the number one reason, because when I, when I told her the night before I, uh, I actually announced I was going to quit coaching, I said, I can't make the decision. And she said, if you can't, Dick, I can't, you're getting out. But after 15 years, the fire still burns in his belly, and the Rams stunned the football world by luring him out of retirement. 14 years ago, I left coaching, okay? I left coaching because I had to, and I'm not embarrassed to say it. Today, I'm back because I have to. His first two seasons with the Rams were a struggle, winning just nine of 32 games. But suddenly, the 1999 season was magic. They acquired Marshall Falk from Indianapolis in one of the best trades in NFL history. Kurt Warner, an unknown quarterback, replaced an injured Trent Green. We will rally around Kurt Warner and we'll play good football. With Mike Martz as the offensive coordinator, the greatest show on turf was born. It was the most explosive offense in NFL history, with weapons like Isaac Bruce and Torrey Holt lighting up the scoreboard, along with a surprisingly solid defense. The sidelines were Dick Vermeil's office. Hey, defense, now you go dominate. You go dominate. You haven't had a chance to play. Let you go dominate now. Let's you get after the rest. 63 years old, I'd pick that one. Jeez, I think I could have made that play. No, maybe, maybe not. They had no yards. Just keep attacking them, Michael. Pretend like it's nothing to nothing. Marshall's at 100 yards right now, so keep him running straight ahead if you can. Kurt Warner, handoff, Marshall Falk gets across the line of scrimmage, and then some more. Breaks a tackle at the 25 to the 20. Heading to the outside, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Rams! Hell of a job, buddy. Thank you, Dick. I appreciate it. Just relax. I'm happy fun. for you. Hey, I'm hey, uh, for you. Hey, listen, I have nothing. I'm so relaxed my whole life. Honestly, right. got a, it's a time you got a chance. I appreciate it. Do Dick, what I you did. have the ability to be. Just go ahead and do it. I appreciate it. I do. I'll try to I help do. it any way I can. Our spacious skies. Ray Charles. I first saw him in 1959. That was my first coaching job at Gilmore High School. We drove to San Francisco to hear Ray Charles sing. A long time ago. When Ray Charles sings God Bless America, everything's going our way, guys. <laughs> the Rams and Vermeil reached the top of the mountain with a 23-16 Super Bowl win over Tennessee in the Georgia Dome when Mike Jones made the historic game-ending tackle. able to bring this home to the city of St. Louis. Uh, they're a wonderful city with full of wonderful people. Our organization appreciates them. We appreciate, I know they appreciate us a little bit more right now. And, and this is coming home to St. Louis. It's coming home to St. Louis. It's been said that Dick would cry at the retirement of a blocking sled. So more tears came when he retired again after that Super Bowl win. He came back one more time to coach the Kansas City Chiefs but he will always live in our memories as the coach who brought the Super Bowl championship to St. Louis. And we proudly welcome Dick Vermeil as a member of the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame.